We're back. I'm Gary Glenn. Hall County Sports is the show. Now, the Lanier Canoe and Kayak Club hosted the annual Dragon Boat Festival just this past weekend. Although this was pretty low key, they still won some races. Came in first, 250, 500, 2,000 meters in some of the classes. And as you saw last week here on the show, some members of the LCKC just back from the Dragon Boat Worlds in Hungary, where the U.S. squad won a number of silver and bronze medals. While here in the States, the LCKC brought home their ninth overall national championship in an event that was contested out in Oklahoma City. We bring to the show now the coach of the Lanier Canoe Kayak Club, Claudio Schur, as well as a couple of his athletes, Stanton Collins over there on my far left, who came back with three golds and two silvers, and Rebecca Westmoreland, who had nine gold medals in Oklahoma City. First of all, Claudia, uh, just to kind of tell me a little bit about this, this overall uh, month, which has been pretty good for you guys over in the Worlds, at the Dragon Boats, and then at the Nationals. Right. Well, um, yeah, definitely we have a very, very good um, national championships this year with this uh, young group. We start, I mean, I will start to grow in them and get them more quicker on the water since I started coaching two years ago. And we definitely, the result is coming with these two young kids. I bring it here, 16 year old juveniles. They race in the juveniles divisions and nationals and they brought this a lot of gold medals. And uh, we definitely have uh, a very, very good results on the future with these athletes. The our group, it's 40 athletes who they are representing national championships this year for us. And uh, we brought the ninth title at um, Lanier and in Gainesville, mm -hmm. nine, nine title national championships, which is we got more than 77 gold medals at national championships, but the total medals we have 157. Yeah, I saw that. Which is a good number for uh, this year. We definitely win uh, national championships by points, like double points than the second club on the state, which is Seattle Canoe and Kayak Club. So uh, I'm really proud and really 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 glad with the young kids and the, definitely the junior guys they are have and they are had a really good potential to go in the next level and definitely compete for uh, world champions in olympics uh men's medal breakdown 41 gold 23 silver 17 bronze 81 total medals the women 36 gold 15 silver 25 bronze 76 medals so you got to feel pretty good about all of that yeah you're, you're, you not only have talent but you're deep yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was I mean, I was really impressed, and definitely we have was other clubs. They have really, really good and really strong kids from the juvenile division and the junior division, and and we definitely win all the w events in kayak men and kayak women in canoes, and we, I mean, that's the main things. When we leave from here, I want to get gold medals, much much gold medal we can for all the events and definitely that was the happen on the seniors events we definitely still have Morgan House and Emily Vinson yeah. and these guys Emily Mikkel compete and Tim Hornsby compete for our club and they did really really good they win a lot of events too on the singles and the team boats but most of the I'm not say we ha I have a surprise but I was a little bit you know like have a hard time before because I know these kids they are training in other clubs I meet them all the time on Lake Placid Regatta in July and and I saw them really good and we have like in the women's kayak division we not have a that regatta too many girls and then I know I have back home like Rebecca Westmoreland and other three four girls who they really hungry to get in these national championships and and show themselves so and definitely was great Regatta. Let's talk to the athletes now. Uh, Rebecca Westmoreland and Stanton Collins. First of all, Rebecca, nine gold medals. Is it kind of unfair for me to ask you, did you expect that or did you? Well, going out, I, my coach had just told me, race as hard as you can. I want to see golds in every event, but honestly, I didn't think it could be done until I sat back on the podium and realized that I had actually done it. I wasn't expecting it at all. So was it tough? It was hard. It was three days of racing as hard as I could in every race in every event just going as hard as I could no matter what. Stanton, I mean, you did pretty well too, three gold and two silver. So the, the three days of racing, when does it start to wear on you? By the second um, day or the third day or when? First day. First day. <laughs> it hurts. 
it hurts pretty bad and the um once you get into finals it's just constant racing at race after race after race it's really it's pretty difficult now these are relatively short races correct um it ranges from 200 meters to a thousand meters to a thousand meters yeah. so the, you know especially in the shorter races there's no real time is there guys to to say oh well, let's let's do a little strategy here it's just it's just go for it right yeah all the way now that's got to be i mean i've seen you guys i went to oklahoma city with you a couple of years ago and then that it's that is tough yeah what makes a good meet for you i mean what is, is it just preparation is it mental stuff is it how, how is or there's the whole package it's everything you have to um the day before you have to be thinking about your race and go through it in your mind and um really good athletes that every single day they'll go through their race in their mind and think this is what I need to do. This is how I'm going to get better. And uh, it's just every day constant preparation. So, so uh, during the race, Rebecca, it's kind of like this is where I need to be at this point in the race, right? When I'm racing, all I can think about is racing. I'm not focused on where everybody else is or where I am compared to the rest of the field. I'm just going as hard as I can. And I've set up my race plan beforehand. So I think about that in my head and I just follow it to the best of my ability and just go hard. And uh, so now you come back and you do the little dragon boat thing. That, that's probably a, f a fun thing, isn't it, huh? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and you got a lot of people to help you out in that, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're out there by yourself. All right, one last thing before I turn you loose. Now, Claudia said that, you know, we want to compete for world and Olympic kind of things. Is, is that a goal? Realistically for both of you, you think? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. We're heading out for camp in middle to late October, and it's a pre-junior worlds camp. Where's this at? Um, in Southern California, okay. out in Chula Vista. And it's an Olympic training center, and the boys have a specific camp and the girls have a specific camp, and we're separated, and they happen about a week or a couple days apart. They're for almost a week, and you go out there with ch uh, kids from around the country that are your age and your speed, and they're trying to set up team boats to go towards Junior Worlds Wow! with the ultimate goal of getting a gold medal. There you go. Looking forward to that? A lot. It's a lot of fun going to those camps. All right. Stanton? Thank you for coming in, Rebecca. Thank Congratulations you. on a great nationals. Congratulations. Thank you. Claudia, keep up the Thank good work, you. okay? All right, we wish them well, not only at the camp, but in the future as well. And we're back with Stan Luttrell as we talk some more football when Hall County Sports continues.